Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust recording latency using a loopback test in Reverb. Now, the way recording audio works in Reaper or any DAW, the sound comes in through a mic or line input on your audio interface. Then it goes into your computer, into Reaper, then back out your audio interface and into your speakers or headphones. And the time it takes to do all that is what's known as latency. And Reaper will compensate for that and move our recorded audio earlier to keep it in time with our other tracks automatically. And the number Reaper uses is based on what our audio interface driver reports. But as you'll see, that number isn't always correct. In fact, I have five interfaces here and none of them are correct. So let's check it together and adjust for it for your interface. So the first thing we're going to do is go up here and choose the audio device settings. Now I'm using a Mac. So I would choose my interface right here, and my block size over here, which is going to determine how much latency I have. If I'm using a slower computer, I'll set this to a higher number, or if I'm using a faster computer that can keep up without glitching, I would set this number a bit lower. 128 is a pretty good setting to keep our latency low, so I'm going to start with this. And if you're using a PC, you're going to see a window that looks like this. You'll set the audio system to ASIO and adjust the latency in the ASIO configuration right here. Or you could adjust it with request block size over here. Now, I only mention this because when we readjust the recording latency, it can vary depending on the setting we set here. Although for my interfaces, it didn't. Just setting it once worked with any block size or latency I selected. But it's a good idea to start with the setting you use the most. Now let's go down to the recording tab. And we can see right here, by default, use audio driver reported latency is turned on. So Reaper is going to move our items by the reported latency of our interface or drivers to be in time with the rest of our tracks in our project. So what we hear when we perform will be what we hear when we play back. But like I said before, a lot of times that reported latency will be wrong. So let's turn this option off for now and see what the actual recording latency is. Now I've set up a project here with a kick drum on this track. And it sounds like this. We can really use any sample you prefer, but the waveform on a kick sample tends to make it easier to see if our tracks line up. So now we're going to perform a loopback test where we record from this track to another. And the easiest way I found to do this is to simply connect the output of our headphones to the line input of our audio interface. And that'll create a loopback or a loopback test. So now we're going to create another track right here. Let's right click on the record button and turn off monitor input. This way, Reaper won't feed back as we record from this track into this track. So now we're going to record, set our input, where we plug the headphone output into. I chose input two. And now we'll check the recording level on our input. Make sure we turn up the headphone output and the line input on our interface. And we can see we have level right here. Try to make it about the same as over here. Looks pretty good. Now let's record and see the result. And we can see right now, if we zoom in, our recording is out of time compared to this track. So it created a delay. But if you remember, we turned the setting off. So we should see that latency. Let's zoom in to this spot right here as much as possible. Put our cursor right where it crosses our zero axis. And let's put a marker right there. Type M. And let's zoom out and go to the same spot 
on this track, right here, where it crosses the horizontal zero marker. Put a cursor there, type M, and that puts a marker right there. Now we can double click in the space between the two markers, and that creates a time selection showing us the delay from this track to this one. That's the latency using our audio interface. Then we can right click in the ruler and switch it to be samples. Then we could look right over here and see the length of our time selection in samples. On my interface, it's 563 samples. That's the latency using my audio interface. But now let's try it where Reaper adjusts it automatically. Let's delete this and the second marker. We can leave the first marker because we could use it again. Go back to our preferences. And now it's turn on use audio driver reported latency during recording. So now Reaper is going to adjust for the recorded latency by the reported amount. It's going to record. And now we can see it looks a lot better. But in my system, like I said before, it's not perfect. And if it's perfect on your system, as you zoom all the way in, then your system is fine. You don't need to readjust it any further. But my system looks like this. So let's fix it manually. Let's zoom in again to that same spot, put our cursor right here, type M to create a marker, zoom out, double click, and we can see it's off by 70 samples. That's the difference between what my interface is reporting to Reaper and what the actual latency is. So once again, let's delete this audio and this marker. And now let's go back to our preferences and readjust it right over here on the input manual offset. We're still gonna leave this on, but we're gonna add to it over here. So for me, it's 70. Of course, for you, it'll probably be different. Hit OK. And now if we record it, it should be perfectly aligned with this track. Let's try it. Zoom in. And we can see the same point over here aligns with that same point over here. So it's perfect. And just to make sure it's going to work with any setting, go back to our preferences. On the device, let's change the request block size to be smaller. Let's try 64, go into record. And with that setting, it's still perfect. Let's change it to 32. Try it again. Still perfect. And if we go higher to 512, That's still in time as well. Let's do one more. 1,024, record, and it lines up this track to this track perfectly. Based on my system, which is off by 70 samples right here. Like I said, yours will probably be a bit different, but if we readjust it over here, along with it being set automatically, it should be perfectly in time from your input to your output, keeping everything in line with the other tracks in your project. So that's pretty much it. That's adjusting recording latency using a loopback test in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!